Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In today's video, we will talk about joint variation. This topic is part of the series about variation, where in last week, we have uploaded a video about direct variation, inverse variation, and combined variation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now let's talk about joint variation. Joint variation is when a quantity varies directly as the product of two or more quantities. Actually guys, this is the fourth topic we have in variation. We already have the direct, inverse, and combined. So before we start discussing about joint variation more or deeper, so baka kasi malilito kayo about joint and combined. Isipin nyo na lang na when it comes to combined variation, it is the combination of direct and inverse variation. But if you're talking about joint variation, isipin mo na lang na ito'y combination ng dalawang direct variation. So what are the things na may encounter nyo when it comes to joint variation? Is that you have y is equal to kxz for some constant k. Yung constant natin dito yung, yung k and the variables are y, x, and z. Next, at yung mga frequent phrases na may encounter natin, y varies jointly as x and z or y is jointly proportional to x and z. And lahat ng yan ay directly translated to y is equal to kxz. So, in the next part of our video, I will give examples wherein we will solve problems about joint variation. Now, let's start with example number one. We have here, if z varies jointly to x and y, and z is equal to 6, when x is equal to 3, and y is equal to 4, find z when x is equal to 7, and y is equal to 4. So, for this part of the problem, we need to create an equation. So, we have z varies jointly as x and z, that will be z is equal to k x y so we are done with the prob with the equation of the problem right now we will be using this part and this part to find the constant of variation so you have here z is equal to 6 your x is equal to 3 your y is equal to 4 all you need to do to find the value of this variable k we need to substitute these values to the given equation. We have here 6 is equal to k times 3 times 4. And simplifying this equation or this part, we have 6 is equal to 12k. And to find k, divide the whole equation by 12. Cancel this one, cancel this one. Your k is equal to 1 half if you will simplify 6 over 12. And by reflexive property, you have k is equal to 1 half. The next step is for you to go back with this equation and then change the value of k into 1 half. So you can have z is equal to 1 half x and y. Now, since we already have the equation of this problem, all you need to do is to face the problem itself or solve the main problem. You are asked to find z. So you will be asked and you need to solve for z when x is equal to 7 and your y is equal to 4. So all you need to do is substitute the values of z and 4 or of x and y. So you have z is equal to 1 half times your x, which is 7, and your y, which is 4. Simplifying this one, you can have z is equal to 1 times 7 is 7 times 4. That will give you 28 over 2. So simplifying that fraction, your 28 over 2 is simply 14. This is the value of z in item number 1. Now let's have item number 2. If y varies jointly as x and z, and y is equal to 12, when x is equal to 9, and z is equal to 3, find z 
when y is equal to 6 and x is equal to 15. Now for this part of the problem, you will be using this to create an equation. So since you have y varies jointly as x and z, you have y is equal to k, x, and z. And now for this part of the problem, you will be using this to find the value of k. You will notice that all of the variables x, y, and z are given, meaning those numbers are to be used to find the value of your k. So you have your y is equal to 12, x is equal to 9, z is equal to 3. Substitute natin siya to find the value of k. You have 12 is equal to k times 9 times 3. Simplifying this, you will get 12 is equal to 27k. And to find the value of k, we need to divide the whole equation by 27. So we can cancel out this one. So you have your k be equal to, so you will be having 4 over 9. And by reflexive property, this will be k is equal to 4 over 9. Now, since you already have the value of your constant k, go back to this equation and change the value of k or the variable k as 4 over 9. So you can have the main equation of this problem, y is equal to 4 over 9, x, and z. And finally, for the problem itself, find z. So you will be asked for the value of z. When y is equal to 6, and your x is equal to 15, all you need to do is to substitute the values of x and y. So your x is, your y is equal to 6, so this will become 6 is equal to 4 over 9 times 15 for the value of x times z. So simplifying this, you can have 6 is equal to 4 times 15, that is 60, z over 9. So you can do cross multiplication. We're in lagyan natin dito ng 1. Cross multiply, cross multiply. So 1 times 60z, that will give you 60z. And 6 times 9, that will give you 54. And let's divide this by 60 para makuha natin yung z. Cancel out, cancel out. Your z is equal to 9 over 10. This is the value of z in problem number 2. I hope you learned something from this video about joint variation. And do not forget to watch our video about direct, inverse, and combined variation. Now, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na yung bell button for you to be updated in our latest uploads. Again, I am Tito Chagorn. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye! Now let's have item number two. If y varies jointly as x and z, and y is equal to 12, when x is equal to 9, and z is equal to 3, find z when y is equal to 6, and x is equal to 15. Now for this part of the problem, you will be using this to create an equation. So since you have y varies jointly as x and z, you have y is equal to k, x, and z. And now, for this part of the problem, you will be using this to find the value of k. You will notice that all of the variables x, y, and z are given, meaning those numbers are to be used to find the value of your k. So you have your y is equal to 12, x is equal to 9, z is equal to 3. Substitute natin siya to find the value of k. You have 
12 is equal to k times 9 times 3. Simplifying this, you will get 12 is equal to 27k. And to find the value of k, we need to divide the whole equation by 27. So we can cancel out this one. So you have your k be equal to, so you will be having 4 over 9. And by reflexive property, this will be k is equal to 4 over 9. Now, since you already have the value of your constant k, go back to this equation and change the value of k or the variable k as 4 over 9. So you can have the main equation of this problem, y is equal to 4 over 9, x, and z. And finally, for the problem itself, find z. So you will be asked for the value of z when y is equal to 6 and your x is equal to 15. All you need to do is to substitute the values of x and y. So your x is, your y is equal to 6. So this will become 6 is equal to 4 over 9 times 15 for the value of x times z. So simplifying this, you can have 6 is equal to 4 times 15, that is 60, z over 9. So you can do cross multiplication. We're in, lagyan natin dito nung 1. Cross multiply, cross multiply. So 1 times 60z, that will give you 60 z and 6 times 9 that will give you 54 and let's divide this by 60 para makuha natin yung z cancel out cancel out your z is equal to 9 over 10 this is the value of z in problem number 2 i hope you learned something from this video about joint variation and do not forget to watch our video about direct, inverse, and combined variation. Now, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na yung bell button for you to be updated in our latest uploads. Again, I am Tito Chargon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!